The fifth activity is this idea of managing improvement efforts. We use a, a tool that's uh, been created by Associates in Process Improvement called the, uh, the, the uh, Model for Improvement. It consists of two components, the thinking part, which has three questions. What are we trying to accomplish? How do we know that a change is an improvement? And then what changes could we make that would result in an improvement? The thinking part, giving us the opportunity to develop, test, and implement a change. The second part becomes the doing part, the plan, do, study, act cycle. In our case, um, Rarely, rarely do we not take the time to answer at least the first question, depending on the complexity, depending on the impact that it's going to have on our organization, certainly will determine how much documentation we need, how much planning. But whether, it, as soon as it gets to be more than one person, if we're not on the same page as to what we're trying to accomplish, we're going to spend time and not get where we need to get to as, as effectively as we could. So answering the first question, um, rarely do we do that without exception. Some examples of um, some improvement efforts. So the first one, and I'll, I'll, the first one was uh, when we started working with Cliff 1994, 1995, um, he, he suggested we start taking a look at credit memos. Credit memos are issued because something didn't go right. There was an error, there was something. Could be on our part, could be on the customer's part, whatever the case. And we, um, we actually were able to keep diving into the data. We determined what product it was. We were actually able to determine what customer was creating the most credit memos. We were able to address that pretty directly. We found out that in fact it was their system that was creating most of the credit memos, but it gave us a place to start grabbing some of that low-hanging fruit, taking costs, if you will, out of the system. That, where we started, that 25 to 40 percent of our expenses, this is where we started. Um, that divestiture I mentioned before was a laminate line. We're working to improve margins as we speak, working on reducing freight charges and this, this whole software um, implementation. These are some improvement efforts that are going on as we speak. Let me back up. Um, what are we trying to accomplish? As we, as we develop this, we refer to this as a charter. So we're going to have a description, we're going to have some expected results, and then we're going to have some boundaries. And literally, our leadership team or a group could put this together, hand it off to another part of the system, and they can move that forward based on the detail that would be provided with the charter. The second question, how we know a change and improvement, how are we going to keep score? If we're going to make a change, what's going to, what is it going to look like compared to where we are today? And the third question, what changes can we make? And we're all good at, at coming up with 27 things that we could change. We're not, we may not be so good at answering the first question, but we're really good at this one. And then we start to run plan, do, study, act cycles. Again, depending on the complexity, we'll determine how many cycles we run. So we're going to plan for what we're going to do. We're going to actually do it, then we're going to study it, and then we're going to act upon it. Acting upon it may mean that we need to run another cycle. Acting upon it may mean that we need to test it in another geography. Acting on it may mean that we're confident enough at this point that we can implement. And acting upon it may mean let's leave well enough alone and not do anything. But this, this tool allows us the opportunity to run that process.